Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Costa and on my channel you'll find anything to do with makeup and some skincare. Makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, skincare reviews, foundation wear tests. If you're into that then you should subscribe but today is one of those days where I, an oily acne prone skin person, test out a product for you guys so you don't get blocked pores and your skin is protected throughout the day. What am I talking about? Well, let me tell you. For about a week, I tested out the Revolution SPF 30 Protecting Boost for normal to oily skin. This is essentially a moisturizer that has SPF in it. And if you're anything like me and you are on a hunt for a good SPF, because every single one that you bought previously caused you spots, then uh, I think you should carry on watching. Again, if you're anything like me and you struggle to find products that don't cause spots and SPF unfortunately for me has been that product for years since I've started using acid on my face, since I started exfoliating my face regularly, I've been on a hunt for a good SPF. I tested out so many from the drugstore and every single one of them ended up in the bin because it caused inflammation, it caused blocked pores and you can usually tell if you have oily skin you'll know if it's a certain product that caused that spot. For me personally I have cystic acne which means it's like a, a bump under the skin, it doesn't usually have a head, it's just really painful and red. I usually get hormonal one on my cheeks and my jaw. If it's a blocked pore, not a spot, it just looks and feels different. But that's not what we're focusing on today. Today is not about acne per se. Today I've put to the test another SPF. This one is from Revolution. Technically it is a moisturising SPF and I tested it out every single day for a week because I usually can tell if an SPF is blocking my pores. To be fair, straight after. The next day after using an SPF, you can usually tell if it clogs your pores or not. However, sometimes clogged pores can be influenced by other factors, so I wanted to give it a nice full week to be able to honestly tell you my thoughts on this product. Before I do that I would like to read all the claims. So this product on revolutionbeauty.com which is where you can purchase this. I actually bought mine from Beauty Bay. Revolutions on Beauty Bay as well if you didn't know. It is £10 which isn't bad at all for a, a moisturiser B something that has SPF. Let's read the claims. SPF is the most important step of your skincare routine. That's why at Revolution Skincare we've created SPF 15 and SPF 30 in oily and dry skin variations, tailored to your skin type to let your skin seal the spotlight, not some damage. And because mine is for normal to oily, that's what I will be reading. If you have normal to dry skin, this might not be the channel for you. Although I do makeup tutorials, so you should subscribe for those. Normal to Dry has a completely different ingredient list, so it will give you a different result. But the protection's the same. I do use acids on my face and it would be even better if they did make SPF 50. But maybe in the future they will. Chemical filters protect skin from harmful UV rays that can cause sun damage without leaving a white cast like physical filters, making it amazing for all skin tones. Formulated with niacinamide, niacinamide, I know I'm saying that wrong, ignore it. It's, it's good for, it minimises your pores, which helps to regulate oiliness and even skin tone and texture, whilst glycerin helps to draw water into the skin to prevent dehydration and, and urea and allantonin help to soothe irritation 
I do apologize for not pronouncing these names right but realistically does anyone know how to pronounce them it creates the perfect base for makeup and keeps oily skin at bay and protected making working SPF into your daily routine effortless UV ray filters are <sighs> let's get ready for this octocrinolin ethylhexyl salicylate homosalatibe and butte oh can you see how long that word is? Methoxybenzolimethane. Nailed it. How to use. Apply to cleansed face each morning for best results. Okay. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. In the mornings, I usually wash my face with the egg mousse soap. And then I just pat my face dry, which is when I would then apply a thin layer of the Revolution SPF 30 protecting boost for normal to oily skin. This does not have any fragrance which is really really nice. I'm gonna put it put some on the back of my hand. This is what it looks like. It's it's white but you massage it in and then it kind of like it almost gets thicker under the hand and then after a couple of minutes it's fully in the skin. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the difference. The moisturizer does give you like almost a matte finish. I did apply makeup over it. There was no problems whatsoever. Finally, does it clog pores? Well, we shall see all the check-ins throughout the week. I could not find a clogged pore after using this product. I'm so so happy that I found a product that does not clog my pores but it protects my skin throughout the day. It is so important to use SPF if you don't want to age too quickly, if you don't want wrinkles, if you don't want skin damage. People forget that you can get cancer from not wearing SPF which is scary but anyway right now there's no excuse to not wear SPF whatsoever because like I said this does not clog pores and I understand that you could be an exception so don't take my word for granted you could get clogged pores every skin reacts to different products differently however I usually do have sensitive skin when it comes to getting my pores filled I do have large pores and they do get clogged very easily to have a product that protects and doesn't clog pores is fantastic however there are steps that I do take in the evening that do prevent that from happening as well so always 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 make sure to take your makeup off and take your makeup off 
thoroughly because SPF does tend to cling to face a little bit more than makeup does and therefore I do highly recommend the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. I do use this to take my makeup off. Sometimes if I do have a lot of makeup on my face I will clean my face twice with this and then I second cleanse with either the egg mousse soap or I do exfoliate and I do usually use the L'Oreal Pure Clay Glow Scrub. I'm running low on this but I recently got a sample of the AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser from Murad and I've had this before. I loved it. I stopped using it because I ran out and I completely forgot about it. I forgot how amazing this was. I will be repurchasing this. So taking your makeup off, taking your SPF off at night is very, very important. Don't wear this for bed. No point. You don't need SPF when you're asleep. Let your skin breathe because if you think about it, SPF is like a shield. It's a protective shield from the UV rays. You don't need to wear an armour for bed. I thought this video was going to be really short. I think it might be really short. Hopefully it was very informative and you appreciate me testing this product out. I hope you have enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, any questions whatsoever, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. I will try my best to reply to every single one of them the best way I know how. For now, thank you so much for watching. You are the best. I hope to see you next time. <sighs> By the way, I filmed a tutorial for this look. Just saying. It'll be on my channel soon.